So the question that came in, what exactly is workforce analytics? Everyone's talking about it, but uh, definitions are all different. Uh, We're now officially confused. Can you help? Uh, Workforce analytics, in essence, is about answering questions with data. So finding out what your internal customers, namely executives, are asking and looking at the data that is within the organization, sometimes outside the organization, to answer those questions. It looks at data from the recent past, sometimes actually going back a few years if that research question requires, but mostly it's leveraging survey data, leveraging performance data, don't get me started on performance data, (laughs) because I do not recommend it for a variety of reasons. However, you're looking at data that currently exists in the organization and trying to make sense of it, trying to find out what insights will help leaders make better decisions that reduce risk and increase probability that their investments reap the desired return. That can be looking at quality of hire, that can be looking at engagement and how it relates to productivity and efficiency. It can relate to diversity in hiring and development practices. It relates to any number of things. That being said, it looks at history to have some level of prediction for the future. Is there uh, predictive analytics and certain techniques that uh, uh, can help increase confidence that you know, a certain thing or a certain scenario is going to happen? Absolutely. Is predictive analytics and those techniques appropriate all the time? No. One other thing that I'll say. Analytics in this day and age is often confused with reporting and dashboarding. A lot of vendors are saying, hey, we do analytics and they'll do basic cluster analysis and they'll visualize it in a dashboard or a report. All fine and good. Is that analytics? In the best case, that's basic analytics. Is it more sophisticated analytics, that uh, structural equation modeling, uh, factor analysis, things like that? Um, no, it, it's, it's not. That requires a specialized software, a specialized approach. So workforce analytics at the end of the day is merely about reducing risk and increasing the likelihood that investments that leaders are going to make are going to reap the desired return relative to other potential investments. It's about storytelling. It's about affecting change. It's not going to the data first and and hoping you find something. What I would really recommend is finding out what leaders currently want to know or what they should know and going and putting together a research project with some discipline and trying to tell that story. If you start that and you find out you can't tell a story that's perfect. There's no such thing, by the way. You're going to learn what data is lacking to tell the story even better moving forward. So I'm one of the biggest advocates on the planet for actually getting started with workforce analytics early, learning and improving your capability over time.